In 2001, Mungano was around five years mature, and most of the processes were now being inculcated to the people and understanding. So the federation, it was, it, it was from Nairobi, most of the Nairobi informal settlements and at the river, I know the some informal settlements, Kadois Kasuitu in Adriva, City Carton, Bawazir. Those are the informal settlements which were very, very, very in pathetic shape because of their nature. Because most of the shells were constructed on the polling paper, polling papers, grass that uh, like Kazuito was in uh, submerged in the floods, it was like an island and when the rains came it was flooding, people used to be even airlifted by the Red Cross people, people used to be, the food was being taken to the community because they could not assess because of the restriction on the, the area. So, it was quite a dangerous place to live and the government of the day used not to understand. They used not to, to go to the people on the election times, but the services, they need to get the proper environment was not addressed. So the Federation came to, to a river and created the awareness and the mobilized people came together and the people both agreed on their on their rights. Their destiny. So those were the times when informal settlement could not be even it was not an informal settlement per se, it was like like uh, a nest because fire could come any time so people were living in total fear in that situation so we thank the federation that time they came and they saw the need of reaching the those areas